Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to create a matrix using a function in R. So as we've learned in some previous videos there will be times when you will want to create a, a function of your own. We use a lot of functions in R created by other people so they're available in by default in R and also by loads of libraries and packages that other people create and these are great to use but there will be occasions when you will want to write your own function. So in this video here I'm going to write a short function that's going to calculate five basic statistics. So there's a little bit of coding in this so the first thing I want to do is to take a look at some pseudocode uh, as to what my plan of action is here. So I have a text file with a pseudocode to go with this video and this text file and all sample files and R scripts used in this series of videos are available from my GitHub. You'll find a link to that in the information section beneath the YouTube video on the YouTube page. So to create my, um, uh, my matrix here, I have outlined uh, six things that I want to do. So I want to, first of all, uh, on line three here, I want to use the function uh, uh, function to set up a brand new function, which I'm going to call basic stats. So I want to calculate five basic statistics in my new function. So that's the first thing I need to do to set up the skeleton, if you like, of the function. And then within the body of the function, I want to do five separate pieces of code. The first one is I'm going to use the matrix function to actually create a blank matrix, which will consist of one row and five columns. So five columns because I have five basic statistics and I want to just do one row to, uh, to calculate the basic statistics for a, a single variable in a data set. So once the matrix is set up, I'm going to assign column names using the column names function. And once that's done, then I can use the row names function to create the name of the row. Then I'm going to finally calculate the actual statistics uh, and find the final step within the function is to display the new matrix. So create the function skeleton first of all, create the matrix, one row, five columns, give each column a name, give the row a name, do the actual calculation for the statistics themselves and finally display the matrix. And what I'm hoping to display is a matrix like the one you see in the console here that I prepared earlier. So you can see that I'm using the empty cars data set and the displacement variable, and I'd like to be able to calculate the mean, median, variance, minimum, and maximum of the displacement variable from this data set. Now, of course, I could use the mean, median, var, min, and max functions to do that, but that would require separate lines of code for each variable. So I want to summarize all of this in one function that I can use repeatedly. So I want to create this uh, matrix that you see uh, in the bottom here. So let's go back to our code and get started on creating the matrix. So I'm going to use the empty cars data set. So let's take first of all a look at the head of the empty cars just to see what variables are, are in it. So run line six. And you can see I have multiple variables in here. And the one I'm going to use for the purposes of this demonstration is I want to calculate the basic statistics of the displacement variable. But of course, I can use this for to calculate the basic statistics for any of the other variables in the data set. So that's just taking a look at the data set. I want to concentrate on the displacement variable. So the first thing I need to do is to actually create my new function. So I said in the pseudocode, I want to call my new function basic statistics. So I'm just going to call it basic stats for an abbreviation. And I'm going to assign it then using the function, open and close brackets. Let me just correct that typo there. Function, and it turns to blue, so you know the code is correct. And then after that, I'm going to put in a, a pair of curly braces and press enter. So this is the basics of my, uh, my function. Now it's not created yet because I haven't run any code and there's no code in the body, but I'm going to create a new function called basic stats uh, using the function, function by function name. And in the brackets in here, I'm going to receive one variable and I'm just going to, from, from whatever we want to calculate the basic stats for, I'm just going to call this a temp for a temp variable in here just to give it a name for a variable that I will use temporarily within the function. So back to my pseudocode for a second, and you can see then I have now completed uh, the first piece of code. And the second one now is I want to use the matrix function to actually create an empty matrix of one row and five columns. So let's do that in the code. So this is going to be the first line in the body of my matrix. So I'm going to create a new variable. I'm just going to call it new matrix and assign it using the matrix function. So that's M-A-T-R-I-X, open and close brackets. 
And in here then, I need to indicate that there are five columns. So that's one colon five. So that'll give me a series of five columns and n row is equal to one. So I just want to create a one row and five column data set here. So that uh, command on line nine will set up the new matrix for me. I don't need a comma at the end of this line, so just press enter and move on to the next line. In my pseudocode, I said the next thing is, now that I ha will have a blank matrix, I want to give each of the five columns a name. So there's going to be a little bit of coding in that. So I'm going to use the call names function, call names, and the column names I'm going to create. I'm only one matrix here, so I'm going to create them for the matrix, new matrix. And then I'm going to assign these using the assignment operator the names of the five variables I want to do. So I'm going to use the combine function to give these uh, basic stats. So I'm going to calculate the mean of the variable. I'm going to calculate the median. Uh, then I'm going to calculate the variance. Uh, the fourth variable is going to be the minimum. And the last variable is going to be the max. So just using abbreviations there for readability. So just a quick check again, uh, call names function for my new matrix, which remember has five columns and one row. So I'm going to use the call names function to give these columns names of mean, median, variance, minimum, and maximum. So now that we've done the call names, what's next in our pseudocode list? We want to name the row. So I'm going to use the row names function to create the row name. So move to the end of my call names function line and press enter to create another blank line. And this time, uh, the row names function, now I've only got one row, but it's still a pure for the name of the function. Row names function for a new matrix. Again, the assignment operator. And here I'm going to just give it a title. I'm going to call it basic stats. So that whatever text we put there will be the name of the row. And press enter to move down to the next line. Let me just move that bracket back in. Okay. So now that we've done the row names, what's next in our SU code, we've now got to actually go ahead and calculate the statistics. And we're going to use this using the existing functions that calculate the mean, median, and, uh, and so on. So let's go back to my code and start to build this line here. So my new matrix, and this time I want to use square open and close brackets. And um, my, I've only got one row, so I'm going to remember you, in square brackets, you put the row first and column second. So I want to... Uh, um, in, in, in my row, I've got one row uh, in my matrix, so in each of the five columns of that row, I want to put in the mean, median, variance, minimum, and maximum. So that's my row set up. Use the assignment operator, and then the combine, the combine function, open and close, and in here I just uh, reuse the um, code for calculating the mean. So mean of whatever the temp var is. So you remember in my code up here at the top on line eight, I am receiving a variable from a data set or something I want to calculate the basic statistics for. I'm storing it in a temporary variable called temp. So now in my code, I want to, whatever that variable is, I want to use the mean function to calculate the mean uh, for that variable, comma. The next uh, function is the median. Be careful with your uh, upper and lower cases here. Again, it's going to be temp comma after that. The uh, variance is calculated using the var function, so just an abbreviation var, T-E-M-P again. Another, another comma. Um, then the minimum and maximum are calculated using the min of temp and the max of temp. Let me just widen this out so we can see all of this here. Okay. And press enter after that to create another, another blank line. Let me just do a quick recheck on this uh, new matrix, which we will have created. Remember, we haven't run any code yet. You can see the global environment is empty, so we don't have any matrices or variables created just yet. We want to write the full function, test it out before um, we, 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 we are happy that it's going to be working. So in my line 12 here, my new matrix uh, in the first row, just undo that, the first row, um, I'm going to add, add in using the combine operate function here, the mean, the median, the variance, the minimum, and the maximum. So these names here, mean, median, var, min, and max, with lowercase leading letters, are the actual functions within R that will calculate the mean, median, variance, minimum, and maximum. 
So that looks like I've created, I will have created a full, full uh, matrix with the column names, a row name, and some statistics calculated. The last thing I want my function to do is to actually display the, the new matrix. So just put simply put in the name of the matrix here and move down to the last line. So a quick recheck over everything. I've created a new function. I will have created a new function called basic stats. On line nine, I will actually set up the new matrix of, of five columns in one row. The call names function will give my column names the names that I require. Similarly with the row names, will will give a name to my one and only row in this matrix. And then I actually perform the calculations on line 12 and finally display. So it's now time to test my code. So I'm gonna click on run. I'm not getting any error messages, which is a good sign. And you can see over on the right hand side that we have created a function called basic stats. So now the global environment in our studio contains this function. So um, we, we, we still don't know if it's, if it's gonna work yet, so it's time to test it out on an actual variable. So I'm gonna use the empty cars data set. So the way I call that function is I name it basic stats. Um, the variable I'm going to test is empty cars dollar sign and I'm going to select the DISP for the displacement. So it's time now to test my code. So I'll click on the run. Um, and you can see that I now get my matrix displayed in the way I wanted to in the console down at the bottom of my screen. You can see I've got my five column headers, mean, median, variance, variance min, and max, as I have indicated on line nine in my code, function code. You can see that the, the row name is called basic stats. So that's line 10 in my line of code. So that has worked neatly. And then I've created the matrix, and in the first row, I've successfully added in the five calculations for each of these basic statistics, mean, median, ver variance, minimum, and maximum. And you can see the actual values displayed there. We can use our basic stats to, to um, calculate the uh, basic stats of other variables in this data set. So once, let's try it for the um, miles per gallon. MT cars dollar sign and I'm going to choose MPG from the pop-up list and run this piece of code. So remember what I'm doing here is I'm using a simple piece of code to calculate the uh, basic stats of another data set um, for, uh, contained within the MT cars uh, or data data set. So you can see I'm getting different values there because of course the miles per gallon uh, for each car is different than the displacement. And not only that I can now use this basic stats function uh, on other data sets. So let's try a different data set. So basic stats open and close bracket, and I'm going to use the plant growth data set that is also inbuilt, in, inbuilt into our dollar sign. It contains only two variables. Um, weight is the one I can do here. So click on run, and you'll get another matrix created uh, with the calculations for the basic stats for the plant growth weight variable data set. So I'd encourage you to try this out on data sets of your own choosing and also within the function to add in maybe perhaps other uh, basic stats if you want to do one like this, like skewness and kurtosis uh, and the mode and so on. So what, so that you can do them all in one go. And then once you've mastered that to see how the function works, you should be ready to be able to create your own function to do the things that you want to do. So another example that you might use would be to create a function that will draw several graphs with one function call. So that's how you um, create a matrix uh, using a function in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.